At this point, uh, the young man could be anywhere. The manhunt continues this morning for a man accused of killing four at a Tennessee Waffle House. And if you're one of the lucky ones, a dollar received your tax refund. Just where should you go and spend it? We've got some good ideas for you straight ahead. Those stories plus your first alert weather and traffic. Good Morning Sun Coast starts right now. You're watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 5. Good morning, early risers. We are back at full strength Monday, April 23rd. Good morning. Good morning. I never thought I'd be so happy to hear good morning, early risers from Ray Collins. Welcome wow. back from vacation last week. It almost sounds like you missed me. I did. <laughs> I did so much. How was your all tennis diet? Good. You lived, eat, and breathe uh, tennis I was, last week? I was at the tennis open last week in, uh, in Sarasota and had a great time. It was out at Bee Ridge Road. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Good turnout this year, look like. Yeah, a lot good of turnout. Up. Yeah, a young man from Bolivia was the uh, winner last night. Wow. Uh, Hugo Delian, not a household name yet, but we'll see him in the years to come. Could be. Yeah. All right, nice. So somebody else that was gone that last week, John Scalzi. Can I say how much I missed you, too? Welcome back. Thank you very much. It's good to be back. <laughs> Don't leave. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, though. The weather was fantastic if you had the day yes. off. It was it was great, although it got warm over the weekend, right? Kind of got, uh, kind of got hot. In fact, uh, in some places in Florida, we hit the 90 degree mark. So some warm temperatures. We have some showers on radar this morning. They're kind of in the dissipating stage, though, as they get a little bit closer to the shoreline, they tend to kind of fall apart. So we're not looking for a big rain event today, despite the fact that currently it looks a little impressive on radar. We'll notice those showers continue to kind of get weaker and weaker as they approach our coast. And we'll still put in a chance of rain today, about 20 to 30 percent throughout the afternoon. Better rain chances as we head into the afternoon and get a little more sunshine around. But boy, will it be cloudy around here throughout the day today. And despite the little bit of sunshine that we do get peeking through the clouds, our rain chances are going to be minimal because the temperatures will be held down by that cloud cover to about 30% in the afternoon. Daytime high in the mid 80s. Complete forecast coming up in a few. Talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Checking first alert traffic. Some early buildup there on 64 eastbound as you approach the Braden River, otherwise pretty clear in Manatee County. Checking farther south now to the northern half of Sarasota County. A little uh, slow down there on B Ridge Road eastbound as you travel over uh, McIntosh and head toward the interstate. Otherwise pretty clear in northern Sarasota County. And then checking our final map to the south. There is some problems there on uh, Clark Road where it's listed as State Road 72 way out east the interstate as you come uh, westbound. Otherwise, nothing major right now at 502 on this Monday morning. Right now, a manhunt underway for a man accused of killing four people at a Waffle House in Nashville. ABC's Kenneth Gibson has the latest. The suspect's bizarre past, it even includes Taylor Swift and the White House. New details overnight on the victims gunned down at this Nashville Waffle House. All four were in their 20s, including Tarian Sanderlin, an employee at the restaurant. Joe Perez, his mother, writing on Facebook, Today's the hardest day of my life. Aquila Da Silva was a student at Middle Tennessee State University, his girlfriend recovering as well after being wounded, and De Ebony Groves, a senior at Belmont University. She was eating with her sorority sisters when police say 29-year-old Travis Reinking started shooting an AR-15 through the window from outside. He then went inside the restaurant, opening fire again. Once he got inside, it sounded like he just sprayed the rest of his bullets out. Witnesses say he paused to reload, and that's when James Shaw rushed the suspect, wrestling the gun away but burning his hands on the gun's hot barrel. You have to do this now, or it's not going to be... If, if, if I let him load that weapon, it wasn't going to be another window. It wasn't going to be another chance. This morning, authorities are revealing Rankin's history of mental illness. According to a 2016 incident report, police in Illinois were called to a CVS parking lot where he was delusional and believed Taylor Swift was harassing him, stalking, and hacking his phone. And last year, the Secret Service arrested him for trespassing near the White House. During that investigation, police confiscated those weapons, including the AR-15 he allegedly used at the Waffle House. But investigators say Ranking's father got those guns back and gave them to his son. Candace Gibson, ABC News, New York. All uh, right, now we're on the scene this morning. There's been a fire, a two-alarm fire that our Marla Spence was called out on to and Beneva Road, actually. Let's go live to the uh, 4,000 block of Beneva for more on this story. Marla, good morning. 
Good morning, guys. I'm live at Beneva Ridge Condos in Sarasota, and this is where at least one family of six is now without a home due to an early morning fire. As you can see, crews are still on scene out here. We spoke to the Sarasota fire chief, and he tells us crews arrived on scene after two this morning. He says flames were coming out of the roof of one unit. We're also told that there was a fire that started in the attic and luckily crews were able to get that fire and those flames out and at least two condos were impacted out of eight. We spoke to a person who lives at Beneva Ridge condos and he tells us he lives at, in the condo right underneath the one that was actually impacted by that fire. Oh, everybody was sleeping in the apartment. Um, out of a sudden we heard some kind of explosion. Um, we thought it was something else, you know, we didn't know what was going on and uh, everybody got up because of the smoke. It was a lot of smoke coming from, from the house. And right now there is no cause or word on what actually caused this fire this morning. We're also told that the American Red Cross, they will be assisting with that family of six with finding somewhere to stay until uh, they get their apartment back up and find other ways to get them back into a home um, and also Red Cross is actually on scene this morning so we're going to continue to work on this story and find out more on what caused this fire this morning reporting live in Sarasota I'm Marla Spence for ABC 7 your Sun Coast News and a shooting investigation continues this morning after a fight on Lido Beach ended with gunshots. The Sarasota Police Department responded around 7 o'clock last night to a report of gunshots being fired. One witness says she called 911 when she saw a group of people fighting with umbrellas. Then she heard something that made her warn others to get away. I heard some guy say, I'm going in to get my gun. I figured he meant to his car to get his gun. So that's when I ran back to the beach. I was like, okay, I'm not staying here for that. So I ran back to the beach and I was kind of telling people that were at the beach, like, don't go, because they were trying to watch and see what was going on. I was like, don't go over there, stay down, get away. Police confirmed that shots were indeed fired. Luckily, though, no one was injured and those responsible have been arrested. The ones that haven't been arrested have not been identified yet. And of course, that investigation is ongoing. A four year old Sarasota girl nearly died after a fluke incident around a backyard pool. A little girl was playing at her grandparents' house down the street in Sarasota last week. Her mother says they were having a fun with a, a pool noodle when the girl inhaled some water, but the symptoms didn't appear right away. We were all just playing, taking the noodle and blowing water in each other's faces. And then she just happened to put her mouth on it the same time somebody else put their mouth on the other end. And it all went down. She immediately vomited. So we were thinking, OK, good. It came up. Now, the girl then developed a fever. Luckily, her mother had recently heard about a tragic case where a Texas boy died, what's being called secondary drowning or dry dr dr drowning. It happens when water is inhaled and gets in the lungs. So her quick thinking and doctors really helped save that little girl. Doctors that told me that, you know, thank God you brought her in because when her oxygen level was dropping in the hospital, she looked, she was sleeping, she looked like an angel. She didn't look like she was struggling whatsoever. And now she is back home on antibiotics and she's expected to make a full recovery. Want to take the bus? Well, it is about to get a lot easier in both Sarasota and Man Manatee counties. Beating today, they're expanding the mobile ticketing service. So that means the token transit app that the county uses can now be used to purchase a regional bus pass honored by both MCAT and the Sarasota County Area Transit. Now, in addition, if you're a Skyway Connection passenger, you can now use that mobile ticketing for travel between Manatee and Pinellas counties. MCAT kicked off the token transit app earlier this month as part of a new pilot program to allow passengers an easier way to buy single ride fares as well as daily, weekly and monthly bus passes. Happening today, a few road closures to keep in mind as you head out the door this morning in Bradenton. First off, Murfield Drive at 45th Street East will be closed today through Wednesday. Also, 21st Avenue West at 49th and uh, close to our studios, westbound 10th Street between Central and Coconut closed for a few weeks as well. And happening today, the city of Sarasota will be giving away 235 trees 
to homeowners. The city is partnering up with the Arbor Day Foundation's Community Canopy Program. Of course, it's no secret that planting trees in your yard is good for the planet and your community. To find out how you can reserve your own tree, find more online at mysuncoast.com. Hey, nice program. I know, I like that. Just in time for Earth Day, because Earth Day was yesterday. Oh, so. the, I got your card, thank you. You're welcome. Very nice. I'll get you another one next year. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast, the latest in your first alert traffic and gas prices on the rise. The average you can expect to pay soon at the pump. And coming up a little later, caught on camera. Check out this massive tornado that was caught on a police dash cam in Alabama. One of actually two in that area over the weekend. More on yesterday's wild weather across the country. But first, some beautiful weather, although a little warm over the weekend, right, John Scott? A little bit warm and a little bit cloudy today. We do have a slight chance at an isolated shower, but it's not a big chance. But I guess we can use whatever we can get, right? Reduce that drought index a little bit. We're looking at a 20% chance by noon. By 3 p.m., about a 30% chance. Most of the storms will be occurring later on in the day in inland areas. Complete forecast for you coming up in a few. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Our nation's servicemen and women show great courage and leadership both on and off the battlefield. When they transition to civilian life, they can apply the skills and values they learned in the military to the workplace. That's why the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is urging employers everywhere to be smart, bet on a vet. Hiring a veteran is also a great way to show your appreciation for them. To learn more, call 1-888-44-SALUTE. Witnessed him have two heart attacks in ICU. He went through seizures. We'd much rather have Aaron like this than dead. A lot of parents don't have that luxury. He can't talk. He can't walk. This is a condition Aaron will live with for the rest of his life because he abused prescription pills. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. First alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So I've got a good deck of cloud cover kind of hanging over us this morning as you wake up. That's keeping our temperatures elevated just a little bit. That in conjunction with our dew point value, which is now at 68 degrees. So we have a high dew point, a lot of moisture in the air plus the cloud cover keeping us at a 70 degree air temperature. East southeast wind will switch a little bit more to the southwest as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures across the region kind of uniform because of that cloud deck and that uh, onshore wind flow basically. 71 degrees in Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaka, Parrish at 72, so is Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch. 73 in Venice, 70 in Sarasota and 74 at Longboat Key. So what's going on? Well, a lot of the nation is pretty quiet this morning. We do have obviously your eye drawn to this one comma shaped area of showers and thunderstorm activity.
That's a low pressure area that's kind of slowly moving toward the east and as it does so produces a threat of some stronger storms along the coastline of the mid Atlantic and the deep south. We'll be watching that today for the potential of some severe weather there. But for us, we don't get any of that. The energy with this system is lifted well to our north, so we get a, a very weak cold front moving through our area. Now there's a fair amount of shear in the atmosphere, which would tend to promote the potential for some severe weather, but we have very limited instability. The, the, the atmosphere doesn't really want to make showers and thunderstorms all that much. So the combination of the fact that our atmosphere is kind of stable and the fact that we have all the cloud cover around which will limit daytime heating will keep us from seeing any kind of severe weather threat with this frontal boundary sinking south. Clouds today and tomorrow. It'll take 24 hours for this system to exit the region. We will start to see some clearing take place tomorrow afternoon. We have only slight rain chances, and by slight I mean, you know, le way less than 50%, about 30% chance tomorrow to maybe 40% early in the morning on uh, Tuesday as that front moves past. And then, once that high pressure ridge starts to build in, it'll be a sunny midweek and actually many days of sunny weather. You can see the cloud cover kind of blanketing the area. Now, one thing to note is if you look at the cloud colorizations here on our infrared imagery, which is basically taking the temperature of these clouds, these grayer clouds, those are lower clouds. They don't have the lift and the buoyancy of these brighter, whiter clouds that are moving through currently. So after we get through these morning hours, I think our rain chances are really going to be kind of minimal. By 7, 7 a.m. we'll go with about a daytime temperature of 70 degrees with a little cloud cover around. Then as we get into the noontime hour, about a 20% chance of showers as that system approaches. 30% chance at about 3 p.m. And most of those showers, I think, should be in inland areas with a little bit of daytime heating and maybe a sea breeze starting to develop. And then in the evening, we'll start to trim those showers down. As the front finally works its way through, our rain chances will go up slightly tomorrow morning and then everything clears out and we're left with several days in a row of really beautiful sunny weather and a little bit lower relative humidity by midweek. Southwest wind at about 5 to 10 with a uh, west wind developing this evening at about 10 knots and the forecast shaping up like this. For today, look for a daytime high of about 85, overnight 70, 30% chance of showers today in the afternoon mostly and about a 40% chance tomorrow. Then everything clears out, 80 degrees on Wednesday, 77 on Thursday, lots of sunshine through the remainder of the week and the next frontal boundary limps its way through here on Saturday with about a 20% chance of rain and clearing for Sunday. Back to you. All right, thanks, John. Let's take a look outside to your first alert traffic out there this morning. Starting to already see some slowdowns right there. 301 by the intersection of State Road 64 in Manatee County. Going a little farther south in Sarasota County, those roads aren't looking too bad. We do have some slowdowns right there on University Parkway for you in that area. A little bit farther south, not too much in that area just yet. On Clark Road, there's just a little bit of congestion there. But other than that, at 518, your traffic is running pretty smooth this morning. An emotional week in Bradenton where a 34-year-old restaurant is shutting down this weekend. The Miller's Dutch Kitchen will close its doors on Sunday. The family is selling the business and the building. They still hope a new buyer will continue their legacy, though. We got all these homemade pies. We have homemade ice cream. We got Amish peanut butter. These are things that somebody could market and uh, it takes to the next level. The restaurant first opened in 1981 after the Miller family brought the recipes down from Amish country in Ohio down to Bradenton. Also closing after 23 years in the business, the Stardust Skate Center in Sarasota is closing their doors. The owners announced on Facebook that it's a semi-retirement for them. They instead want to focus on a charter bus company that they also own. Tough times for rinks these days, I would think. And smaller businesses sometimes, too. So they're going to repurpose that, they say now. Yes, yes, they Stay are. Tuned. Yes, they are. Yeah. Still to come on Good Morning Sun Coast, why the Department of Justice is now investigating two giant wireless companies. That story is coming up in this morning. Text by. And next half hour today, President Trump back in Washington for a busy week that begins with a state visit from the French president. Those stories are much more on the way in Good Morning Sun Coast. First, this is back live at an apartment fire in the 4,000 block of Beneva. We'll have a live update in 10 minutes right here on Good Morning Sun Coast. I took my first handful of pills and 
that's when all my priorities seemed to change. He would ask to use the bathroom in other people's homes. He just assumed that they would have medication. He'd go in their medicine cabinets and steal prescription drugs. I wish I knew really what these prescription pills were. We were so naive about the whole drug thing. These are all synthetic forms of heroin. Keep your medication locked up because you'll never notice that a pill is gone. Mind your meds. Learn more from the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. We've all heard how military veterans adjusting to the civilian world may have certain issues. 30. 70. If only everyone had this issue. No matter what challenge they face, Easter Seals is here for America's veterans. Patriotism. It inspires passionate debate. It's worn like a badge of honor with good reason, because it means love and devotion for one's country. But what really makes up this country of ours? It's the people. To love America is to love all Americans. This year, patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, sexuality, disability, race, religion, and other labels, because love has no labels. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Good kisses. Good kisses. You heard how loud I, no, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the... Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. We are learning about an apartment fire in the 4,000 block of Beneva Road. We're going to have more on that in about 10 minutes. But right now, this is a live look out of the Beneva, or actually out of the St. Armand's parking garage construction. Now, this is going to be a big deal. For years, everyone has been talking about wanting more parking at St. Armand's Circle. Well, now you are going to get it. But the downside is that there's going to be a little less parking right now because of all the construction surrounding this brand new parking yeah, garage. Yeah, it's been long overdue parking. This is going to be uh, behind the uh, Columbia restaurant side of things there. So construction begins later on this morning. Many merchants say, finally, we need more parking there. Yes, it's going to be good. It's going to be four stories, $12 million complex, yeah. going to have solar energy, so it's going to be good. All right, updates throughout the year on that one. 522 right now. Well, if you received a tax return, how will you spend that money? Discussions about how to save and spend money in general can cause disagreements in some households. So keeping conversations about financial decisions healthy takes effort. Relationship experts say, most importantly, stay calm and open to your partner's views. It's a very touchy subject. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't talk about it. It doesn't even mean that you shouldn't disagree about it. But how you have that discussion is very important. He says, be proactive in talking about your finances, but take breaks from the conversation if need be. The key is to not let the discussion get out of control or become a constant argument. Well, I want to start an argument over these gas prices. Are you feeling the gas price pinch these days, too? Well, you are not alone. Gas prices have now spiked all over the country. The national average is up to about 2.83 per gallon, 37 cents more than what it was this time last year. That jump in prices is being blamed on rising crude oil costs. According to Gas Buddy, the average price right now for a regular gas here on the Sun Coast is about 2.69 on average a gallon, the lowest price they found in the area is about 2.59 a gallon. This week is National Infant Immunization Week. State health officials are reminding parents to double check their child's up to date with all their vaccines. The state is working to increase access to immunizations for infants and expecting mothers. They're also trying to increase access to vaccine preventable diseases in children and teens. For more about the advisory committee, go to our website, mysuncoast.com. Well, two of the biggest wireless companies are under investigation this morning. Here's today's Tech Bytes report. In today's Tech Bytes, wireless companies under investigation. The New York Times reports the Department of Justice is investigating AT&T and Verizon. They're being accused of colluding with each other to make it harder for customers to switch carriers. Verizon calls the investigation much ado about nothing. The Better Business Bureau is giving Tesla an F. The California branch says the electric automaker doesn't do a good job of responding to customer complaints. 
Tesla says it has the highest customer satisfaction ratings in the entire auto industry, and most of the complaints were resolved long ago. Well, new research shows age is a major factor in terms of who uses the internet. The study found 11% of adults in the U.S. are not on the web. That number jumps to 34% among senior citizens. Now, all those senior citizens are on Facebook. They're probably not paying attention to Tech Bytes right now. No. Those are your Tech Bytes. Have a great day. Tech Bytes. Sponsored by Breathe Right. Ah, my poor mouth breather. Allergies, stuffy nose, can't sleep. Enough. Take that. A Breathe Right nasal strip, of course. Imagine, just put one on and pow, it instantly opens your nose. Up to 38% more than allergy medicine alone. So you can breathe and sleep. <laughs> Better than a catnap. Shut your mouth and say goodnight, mouth breathers. Breathe right. Mother Nature sure smells amazing. Even in accounts receivable. Gain Botanico's laundry detergent. Bring the smell of nature wherever you are. Ah, oh, pain cream. Honey, you smell just like my Walter used to. Don't smell like Walter. Aspercream is odor free for maximum pain relief without that Walter smell. Aspercream, no pain, mm. no odor. This is your brain. This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why is, is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. I am the resident district manager on the FAU campus for Chartwell. Whenever I see Haley, I do not see a person with a disability. I see a person with extraordinary abilities. Haley is always smiling. She's always on time. She gives fantastic customer service and is always focused on any job that she's given. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to abilitieswork.employflorida.com. Hi, I'm Janelle Hale, founder and CEO of the National Breast Cancer Foundation. No one should face breast cancer alone. When I was diagnosed 36 years ago, there was no internet, and I had to make a decision with little information. Early detection saved my life. It could save yours, too. To learn what every woman needs to know about breast cancer, visit nbcf.org slash hope. Ever since I can remember, I've been intrigued by industrial design and the optimization. Wait, that's passion? Ever since I can remember, my passion has been industrial design. We need 3D printers for Miss Adams' engineering program so that we are ready to solve 21st century challenges. Impressive. Think It Up is a new initiative to support student-powered, teacher-led learning projects. Students and teachers, how can you spark great learning experiences in your classroom today? Think It Up. There was this big bruise on my friend's face. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want to think her own nephew could have hit her. I didn't want to see it. My mother's bank account was emptied, and a caregiver had taken control of it. I didn't want to see it. My father's refrigerator, there was hardly anything in it. That's unusual for him. It's tough to see that a senior citizen is being abused, physically, emotionally, sexually, or financially. Elder abuse is a crime. So see the signs, stop the crimes. You now have the power to prioritize your Facebook feed and get local news and information from the team you trust. Go to the ABC7 Sarasota page on Facebook. Give us a like, then click following and choose see first. That's it. Customize even more by choosing notifications. Choose breaking news, posts, live videos, anything you want to see in real time. Take control of your news feed and stay connected to what's happening in your community with ABC7 on Facebook. ABC7 is the most watched, most trusted news source on the Sun Coast, and we owe it all to you, our loyal viewers. Thank you for making us number one. If it was going to come down to it, he was going to have to work to work to kill me. 
The manhunt continues this morning for a man believed to be armed and dangerous after killing four at a Tennessee Waffle House. I'm live at Beneva Ridge Condos in Sarasota, and this is where two families are without a home this morning due to an early morning fire. I have a live report with more. And a new and improved playground is now open on South Lido Key. This is more than just a place to play, though. Details this half hour on Good Morning Sun Coast. You're watching Good Morning Sun Coast at 5.30. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. It is 5.30 on this Monday morning. Ray Collins is back from vacation. It's very good to have you back. Thank you. Great. Good to be back. My traffic got better, though. My traffic <laughs> reports have improved because, you know, it's normally Ray that knows, you know, all the roads a little bit better, but my traffic game has stepped up a little bit. I love your imitation of my traffic, by the way. Oh, yes, yes. He can spot where, like, the squirrel is sitting next to the old oak tree on this intersection. <laughs> Yes. Too kind. <laughs> Here's the weather expert, John Scalzi. Good morning, also John. Also, welcome back. Good morning. Well, thank you very much. It's good to be back. It's good to see you guys again. Yes. Uh, it's been a long time, about a week, right? Uh, so we're looking at some showers out in Gulf waters. Some of these showers have been strong over the course of the nighttime hours. But if you'll watch them carefully, you'll notice in the last few frames, they tend to kind of fall apart and become a more broken line than we started off with. So what we are going to see is these showers approach our coastline this morning and into the afternoon, and they will bring us a, a shower or two, but they will not be a strong line of showers, and it will not be an all-day event, kind of a hit and miss kind of thing is what we're going to see. Right now we've got a few sprinkles that have moved on shore, and in fact we do have a chance of seeing some of those sprinkles around during these morning hours. Watch for those, because if they do wet the uh, roadways, they th these light showers tend to be the ones that really do make the roadways the slipperiest as they kind of take the oils that we have left on our roads and kind of bring them right up to the surface. So watch for that. A little bit of cloud cover across the region today, kind of limiting the amount of heating that we get, keeping our temperatures down just a little bit, but starting the morning off a little bit warmer with 70 degrees in Sarasota, 73 in Venice, 72 Lakewood Ranch and Bradenton coming in at 72. Top it out today with about a 30% chance of rainfall a little bit later in the afternoon and a daytime high a little bit cooler than yesterday in the mid to lower 80s. Complete forecast for you in a few. All right, John, talk to you soon. Thank you. All clear right now in Manatee County. No problems there. We'll check that throughout the morning for you. Checking farther south now into the uh, northern half of Sarasota County. Bee Ridge Road, some issues there in the eastbound lane as you cross over McIntosh and head toward Honore. Also Clark Road eastbound as well around Beneva. Checking farther south now in our maps to the south, we'll see ongoing issue there on 72 westbound as you head back toward the interstate. Otherwise, no major delays at 532 on this Monday morning. Breaking overnight, an apartment fire on the 4000 block of Beneva Road. Marla Spence is there live right now with an update. Marla, what do you know so far? Well, guys, I can tell you no one was hurt in this early morning fire at Beneva Ridge Condos on Beneva Road in Sarasota. The flames are out, but as you can see, crews are still on scene this morning, and it looks like they are actually wrapping up this investigation. Crews arrived out here about 2.30 this morning. Sarasota County Fire Chief Mike Regner tells us the fire started in the attic of one condo, and that fire spread, damaging two condos in total. A state fire investigator is working to learn what exactly caused this fire. We spoke to a person who lives here and he tells us his neighbor's unit was the one impacted by that fire. Uh, when we when we found out it was smoke like a fire, we get out of the house and we uh, we look on top of a building and it was a lot of fire coming around the AC unit. Two families were, were displaced. One family was a party of six. The other family were not sure how many were in there. They did seek other uh, means of a place to stay for this evening, but the family of six is going to get help from Red Cross. And the American Red Cross still on scene trying to help that family uh, find a place to stay tonight or this morning rather and to uh, to be helped out with um, funds as well as clothing. Um, and that's all a part of what American Red Cross does when they are called out to fires just like this one at this apartment. Now just to let drivers know that parts of Beneva Road is actually blocked off by these fire trucks this morning, but shortly they should be pulling out with this investigation. And once we learn more on the cause of this fire, we will keep you updated with the latest. Reporting live in Sarasota, I'm Marla Spence for ABC7, your Suncoast News. 
Well, the manhunt continues today for a man accused of killing four at a Tennessee Waffle House yesterday. 29-year-old Travis Ranking has a bizarre history, including being arrested last summer by Secret Service while trying to get into a restricted area at the White House. The summer before that, police found him delusional in a pharmacy parking lot, claiming that Taylor Swift was harassing him and stalking his phone. Now, at one point, his weapons were seized by the FBI in Illinois. They were later returned to his father, who admits that he gave the guns back to his son. Police in Tennessee are on alert there, but admit he could be anywhere by now, and he is armed. There is a chance that Ryan King at this moment is at large with two other weapons. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation has now added him to their top 10 most wanted list. So far, the motive in that shooting remains unclear. We're learning more about one of the victims of that deadly Waffle House shooting this morning. 21-year-old Debony Groves was a senior at Belmont University in Nashville, where she worked in, majored in social work, rather. The university's president said she was full of immense potential and called the incident an act of senseless violence. Other news now, President Trump is back in Washington after a busy weekend on Twitter. Everything from North Korea to defending his longtime personal attorney who's under criminal investigation. ABC's Janae Norman has the details from Washington. President Trump is standing by his longtime lawyer and fiercely loyal fixer, Michael Cohen. And I'll do anything to protect Mr. Trump. Cohen is the subject of a criminal investigation. The New York Times reporting he may cooperate with federal investigators, leading the president to lash out, tweeting, Sorry, I don't see Michael doing that, despite the horrible witch hunt and the dishonest media. Why is the president, though, talking about the notion of Michael Cohen flipping if the president didn't do anything wrong? You have to look at everything the president has said about Michael Cohen and the FBI raid. He's defending someone who he's worked with and known for a dozen plus years, Dana, who he thinks is being treated unfairly. A source telling ABC News, quote, Michael Cohen will never flip. This is an epic battle for the soul and the cooperation of Michael Cohen. Uh, and prosecutors have enormous weapons at their disposal. They can threaten him essentially with life imprisonment. They can threaten his parents. They can threaten his spouse. Also on the president's Twitter feed, news out of North Korea and the announcement the country would suspend nuclear weapons testing and plans to close its nuclear test site. But President Trump incorrectly claiming they have agreed to denuclearization. Kim Jong-un has learned about public relations and is setting it up well for him. He views having deliverable nuclear weapons as his ticket to dying as an old man in his bed. And this all comes as President Trump is planning a face-to-face -face meeting with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. He said that that meeting could happen in late May or June. Janae Norman, ABC News, Washington. Well, it's a topic that no parent wants to think about, yet it is one that needs to be talked about. April is Childhood Abuse Prevention Month. It's a good time to sit down and encourage open talks with your kids. Experts say that one of the most important things to do is constantly reassure them that they can talk to you anytime about anything, even if it's something that makes them uncomfortable. Also, be careful to keep an open mind about how a child should react to abuse. When you're thinking about child abuse, you have to first think about the age of your child. So the signs and symptoms are not going to be the same in a four or five year old as they will in a 14 or 15 year old. So it's very important to think about how old is my child. Also important, and this is a biggie, follow up on any promises that you make and be sure that if you do tell your kids that they can talk to you anytime, be available when and if they want to talk. And switching gears, take a look at this coming up. A large tornado was caught on video by a police dash cam in Alabama. Now, authorities confirmed that a tornado did touch down in Foley, about 45 minutes southeast of Mobile, near the Gulf on Sunday. A few RVs were overturned, and police are checking into some other damaged buildings. Now, in the video, that twister can actually be seen in the distance, kind of going down an empty highway. Videos of it also circulated on social media. Right now, a new playground is open on South Lido Key Beach, and this is no ordinary playground either. A group called Where Angels Play came to Sarasota to raise funds and build the playground in memory of two local boys who died in separate tragedies. Mary Beth and Rob Dittmars lost Christopher in 2001 to leukemia, and 14 years later, their son Jared in a spearfishing accident near the Ringling Bridge. 
So this past weekend, a big crowd came out to cut the ribbon on the new and improved playground built in their memory on South Lido Key. The Dittmar say they're pleased their boys have a lasting legacy now. Seeing all these people here for us, for us, our family, they came here to do all this for us. It's just so exciting and it's something that we'll, we will never forget. A retired New Jersey police, uh, fire chief began the Where Angels Play Foundation after the Sandy Hook school shooting in Connecticut six years ago. And this is the foundation's 48th playground. I got to meet those parents and also Bill Lavin, the founder. It's a, a great organization and the Dittmars are now part of the whole network of others who have been through similar tragedies and they find some peace in that. They do and it's amazing. I was out there right before that they started any construction on this because I had met Bill Lavin too and it was just like this open space and to see what they've done to it in honor of those local boys is yes. absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's a great good thing story. we're doing. That's the uh, southern tip of the Lido Key Beach. So have the latest and first alert traffic and... As any pet owner knows, it is scary when your pet goes missing for any length of time. Up next, a local inventor might have the answer to help finding your missing pet. Happening today, construction begins on that long-awaited parking garage on St. Armand's Circle. Wow, parking is coming to St. Armand's finally. We'll track that project throughout the year. But first, let's get today's forecast from John Scalzi. So, for the commute forecast this morning, I do have the rain box checked, though I don't expect to see any kind of really heavy rainfalls. We do have a little bit of misty rain and maybe a shower that is possible during the morning hours in isolated places, but it's the kind of thing that could make the roadways a little bit slippery. So just watch for that if you happen to be under one. Low 70s for your trip to work, low 80s on the way home, an inland storm possible later in the day. The airport hubs from the Sarasota International Airport, all the airport hubs are looking good. I will tell you, though, that later today, the Atlanta Airport and the Charlotte Airport both have a chance of rain delays. Complete forecast coming up in a few. Who else has been taking your prescriptions? Keep your medicine and your family safe and secure. Mind your meds. To learn how we can help, visit the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids at drugfree.org. A promise was made. A promise that hit the beaches of Normandy. A vow that captured Iwo Jima. A contract that weathered Tet. A pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq. An IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earned. For help, visit DAV.org. When it comes to drinking, what do you think moderation is? The U.S. Dietary Guidelines define moderation as up to one drink a day for women and up to two drinks a day for men. So what's a drink? The guidelines say a drink equals 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or a cocktail with 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits. Each contains the same amount of alcohol. Like to learn more? Visit drinkinmoderation.org. We're gonna go out there in the rain. You're gonna get wet. All right, here we go. Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, yeah, yes. So much fun. Yeah, Dad. My name is Haley. I have fragile X syndrome. I work with Chartwells at Einstein's at FAU. I like being up front and um, interacting with students. The students are very nice and very hungry. Having a job is a big ticket for independence. Hi, this is Dan Marino. When your business recruits people with disabilities, everybody wins. To find out how, go to disabilitieswork.employflorida.com. My name is Luke Perry and I am one million strong. I'm in the fight against colorectal cancer because I believe we can win it. Colon and rectal cancers are the second leading cause of cancer deaths among men and women in the U.S. Colon cancer is preventable. Know the risk factors and make sure to get screened. There are simple take-home options available. Take control of your health. 
Screening for colon cancer isn't embarrassing. It can be life-saving. To find out more about your options, visit fightcrc.org. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Air temperature coming in at 70 degrees right now and the dew point value I think is significant coming in at 68 making it feel kind of humid and sticky and you kind of get the sense that there's something going on in the atmosphere and that something is rain showers out in the Gulf gradually drifting closer to us. We have a east southeast wind coming in at about eight continuing to kind of pump up that moisture with that little bit of a southerly component. So across the region temperatures are fairly uniform 70 in Arcadia 70 in Sarasota. 70 in Wachula, 70 in Bradenton. You get the picture. The cloud cover kind of helping to do that. Plus, the winds are onshore as opposed to coming in from uh, Gulf waters. So yeah, we're, lo we're looking pretty good, or rather offshore. So we're looking at a lot of cloud cover across the region right now. And that's going to kind of smear out daytime heating, if you will. Um, it's not going to allow us to get to as warm a temperature as we saw yesterday, which was pretty impressive in some parts of the state of Florida. But for us, I think we'll probably top it out in the low to mid uh, 80s today. We're in the upper 80s yesterday. Uh, the cloud cover will help to limit the, the strength of the storms that we get around the region today and also the, the rain chance itself. So by about 9 o'clock, we'll put in about a 20% chance of a light sprinkle, a passing shower, a little bit of a heavy mist, if you will. And then as we head into the lunchtime hour, I think our rain chances will start to climb. And then as we get at about 3 p.m., our rain chances will max out at about 30%. A lot of that stuff is going to be in inland areas, I think, as we head into the day and our winds start to shift to a more southwesterly direction. And then by 7 p.m. we'll reduce it to 20 percent. And then we'll have one more chance at a round of showers moving through here probably tomorrow morning. And then after that, we'll start to clear out. And tomorrow afternoon, I think, will be pretty nice. And that'll lead into a string of beautiful days. Low pressure area located in the deep south drifts off toward the Atlantic coast. And as it does that, the mid-Atlantic region and the deep south parts of the Carolinas has a risk of some severe weather today. So if you are traveling, Atlanta Airport, the Charlotte Airport, Raleigh-Durham Airport, all have a chance at seeing some delays because of weather. The frontal boundary itself carves through here tomorrow and then high pressure builds in back behind it. So we get clouds today. We get clouds tomorrow as the front moves through. Slight rain chances, not real high rain chances because the atmosphere is kind of stable and that cloud cover will hold down the heating. And then sunny by midweek as we start to see that high pressure ridge build in. So here's your hour by hour future cast. We'll see a few scattered showers moving in from Gulf waters through the morning hours. Yeah, rain chance about 20% or so. And then by lunchtime, we'll start to see the focus begin to be more in inland areas. There'll still be a few scattered showers around. But still, I think inland will be where the heaviest rains will be falling later today. Temperatures will top out in the low to mid 80s. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, I think another chance at a few showers as the front itself actually moves through. Once it does that, this tan color, that's your dry air. And that'll be headed this way, bringing us a midweek dry out and lots of sunshine for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, possibly Saturday. We'll look for um, a wind that will be shifting to the west this afternoon. Boaters, about 10 knots. Not a horrible day for boating out there, but you'll catch a shower or two. Pretty sure of that. 30% chance of rainfall today. Tomorrow, about a 40% chance early on, then clearing. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all look really good with lots of sunshine around and lower relative humidity. Another front limps its way through on Saturday with a slight chance of showers, and then we clear out again for Sunday. Back to you.
All right, John, let's take a look outside to your first alert traffic out there today. It is not running too bad, actually. The roads are still looking pretty decent. A little hot spot there, 301 and 70, where there is some construction. But other than that, not too much going on in Manatee County. In Sarasota County, those roads, again, aren't looking too bad. University Parkway, there's some construction up there, so that's slowing things down already. Uh, not too much going on there. A little bit farther south in the area. One little hot spot right there on Clark that you can see. But other than that, if you're headed farther south for your morning commute, the roads are looking pretty decent around this time in the morning. That's your first alert traffic. A Sarasota man has a new way to help find missing pets. This is the Pet Detective app. You create a profile for your pet and then if they ever get lost, the touch of a button. Folks in the two mile radius will be notified if they're also on the app. Kevin Angel says the service is more personalized than posting to a local page on social media or putting up flyers. It sends out the uh, information beyond the two mile radius after all. As for future plans, Angel says they're looking to help people who have found a pet as well. Google released something called Google Lens where you can stand at a distance and take a picture of an animal and it will tell you the breed. And so we're going to add that technology into our app so that you don't have to walk up when you find an animal that may be scared. You can actually take a picture of it and it will tell you a little bit about the animal. So it helps us uh, determine the animal that's been found. And Angel says he also hopes to make it so that when you find an animal, you can immediately notify animal services through the app. Well, a royal baby is now on the way. Happening right now, Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, is reportedly in the early stages of labor. Middleton is at St. Mary's Hospital in London. Both of her and William's other children, George and Charlotte, were also born there. Now, no word yet on what the gender yet or a potential name of the baby in that case. But just a couple weeks away because May 19th will be a royal wedding with mm -hmm. Harry and Meghan. So lots going on. Yeah, I'll say, don't take any headlines now from uh, Meghan and Harry. I know. Don't take, <laughs> don't take that scene. So much going on in royal life right now. We'll update the day's top three local news headlines after this. Stay with us. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Hi, I'm Joan London with A Place for Mom. Over the years, we've helped thousands of families find senior care, and today's senior living communities have never been better. With amazing amenities like movie theaters, exercise rooms and swimming pools, public cafes, bars and bistros, even pet care services. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. These are local expert advisors that will partner with you to find the perfect place and determine the right level of care, whether that's just a helping hand or full-time memory care. Best of all, it's a free service. Call today, a place for mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom right now to get our free ebook on financing senior care, as well as a free referral for senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-290-0352. That's 1-800-290-0352. If you're only hungry for a slice of apple pie, why buy the whole pie? And you certainly wouldn't want to pay for an all-you-can-eat buffet. So if you don't use your cell phone that much, why get charged for a plan that's too big or even an unlimited plan? Luckily, there's still a wireless company that shares your values. Welcome to Consumer Cellular. Our average customer pays about $25 a month for everything they need. Many pay even less as plans start at just $15 a month. You'll get a straightforward bill that's easy to understand with no surprises and all the attention you deserve from our friendly customer service team. No wonder Consumer Cellular has received the J.D. Power Award for highest customer service four times in a row. Plus, if you're an AARP member, you'll receive special discounts. It's easy to switch. You can even keep your phone and your number. So stop paying for more than you need and start your 30-day risk-free trial today. Call 800-457-2317, go online, or visit a Target store today. Selfless service is the principle that guides Army National Guard soldiers to be ready whenever disaster strikes. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. They train part-time to be ready to serve at all times. Selfless service, 
It's what inspires the men and women of the Army National Guard to be part of something greater than themselves. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more. Watch Good Morning Suncoast weekdays on ABC7. Happening right now, a major slowdown on I-75. Behind me, traffic is just completely bumper to bumper. Take alternate routes this morning. Weekdays starting at 5 a.m. on ABC7. It is 554 and it is another gorgeous day outside. We're looking for a uh, pretty decent highs out there today. 85 degrees for a high and mostly sunny skies. We'll have John's forecast a few seconds here as we peek at the Rosemary District. A road closing there, by the way, central to Coconut will be closed westbound on 10th. Well, we got that shot up right now. How about right. that? Thank you. Very good to know. And, of course, as we wrap that up, we're going to head on to some of the top stories that we've been following for you on the Sun Coast. Today. Yeah, disturbing story here. An investigation is underway after gunshots rang out last night around sunset at Lido Key Beach. Sarasota police made at least one arrest. Witnesses say a brawl broke out in the parking lot. Plus, the manhunt continues today for the suspect in the killing of four at a Tennessee Waffle House early yesterday morning. He is believed to be both armed and dangerous and could be anywhere in the country. And called a sign of the times, a Sarasota roller rink is closing. Owners of the Stardust near Ed Smith Stadium say they plan to repurpose that facility. It's been a skating rink now for 23 years. And coming up in the next hour, breaking overnight, there's been an apartment fire on the 4000 block of Beneva Road. ABC 7's Marla Spence has been on the scene there all morning. She is going to have the latest coming up in the next hour. Also, big story right now, they're starting construction today on that new parking garage in St. Armand Circle. Yes, it's, more parking. This is such a good thing for that area. We've been talking about that for years. Yeah, It'll be behind the, behind the Columbia restaurant area and yeah. that particular parking lot. So in the meantime, we're going to lose a lot of spots while they build the uh, four-story garage. That's right, but it's going to be a good thing, people. Like almost 200 more spaces, which will mm -hmm. be much needed in that area as well. It is 5.56. Thanks for waking up this morning. We are going to be right back with another full hour of news right here on Good Morning Suncoast.